Okay guys, so to fix this problem about uh, Need for Speed or whatever blue screen you have, okay, you wanna, what the fix we found is you have to uh, clock down your CPU, okay? So to do this, I recommend you to go get Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. Okay, downloadcenter.intel.com. This is the legit website. Okay, you'll find the Intel logo over here. That's the real one. So you go over here. I will put this link in the video. So you download this, you accept, you do everything you have to do. Okay, and uh, this is already, you're gonna have to restart your computer once you install this, okay? So once you've done that, once you restart your computer, we're back over here in Windows. And you're gonna have this uh, program over here, Intel Extreme, or just search it in the taskbar, Intel Extreme. Then you're over here, and this program is really simple. Okay, so my uh, settings right now are, is at 48. Well, just to show you around first, you have to be in basic tuning, all right? You don't go in advanced, you don't go in benchmarking, you don't go anywhere. Okay, you just stay over here in basic tuning. You don't even need to touch that run benchmark. Don't touch anything. All right, just go over here, step to overclock system, and drop it down from two values the both one, two. All right, apply, and that's it. Okay, so you can close that down, then you can start back. Uh, need for speed. So, funny thing about this is only by installing Intel Extreme Tuning, I think it fixed it out all uh, the blue screen with this game. Okay, I've been trying to, uh, I've been trying to trigger back the the problem after I installed the program, and it was really hard for me to do it. Uh, even if I put back my values as it was before, so I didn't, I don't even even need anymore to clock down my CPU once I fix that problem. So it's really weird. So you guys can try it out. Um, once you, once you do, once you've done that fix, and you restart your PC, or you wanna just come back to your CPU uh, values. Let's say you come back to 48 and 44 as I was. Uh, for my settings well maybe it's gonna fix it for you because I don't need to um, put back down my values after that I've been trying I've been trying this for a couple hours now before the video and uh, everything is fixed so uh, props to this uh, program extreme tuning thing probably uh, this is the maybe that's the problem that's where it was fixed so as as you guys can see um i can finally run the game at maximum settings there's no uh, any more problems i'm at ultra uh screen resolution oh we're in borderless so let's go full screen voila usually only when i was messing around in the settings i was getting the blue screen but now i'm confident that uh it's not gonna happen anymore so let's just go uh, by night just to show you guys that everything is working and um, yes before I made this video I obviously watch all over the forums and the problems is frequently happening with the 2080 graphic cards 2080 Ti 2080 uh, pretty much everyone who has this graphic cards will have this problem it's I don't know it's really weird maybe it's because uh i don't know why it have some uh i don't know why everybody with the graphic the same graphic cards has this problem when the fix was about to clocking down the cpu so it's it's a weird problem you know i'm happy to fix it though uh and i'm happy i help it you if that fixes your problem also don't forget uh if you like this video just put a thumbs up and you can subscribe for more if you have any questions put them in the comments below 
and uh yeah oops i'm i'm cops it right now <laughs> so i hope you guys uh fix it your problem just like i did and as i told you uh after i fixed it, that problem once i didn't even need to um uh clock down the values anymore i, I could run my uh oem value settings at 48 let's say my uh over my uh, original overclock settings i had and i had no more problems so big props to uh intel extreme tuning once again and uh, i hope you guys have a have a good gaming see you next time